looks very ready, looks eager to get his hands on his opponent here tonight. Seconds then, the fight will be on, ladies and gentlemen. Stay tuned. Both fighters are southpaw. And here we go. Round one. Oh, lovely left lead kick. And he's returning back with another one. Oh, oh lovely Oh, they go oh, straight ahead and you go into the clinch. And Jiu-Jitsu Kid goes for his Jiu-Jitsu skills. Oh, Jiu-Jitsu Kid He's looking for the leg, leg lock. ankle lock. He's got his ankles. He got his ankles. Oh my goodness! That high legs. level. That's high level. If he tapped, that's pretty. That's pretty tight, Guys, ladies that's and gentlemen. Deep. That's, that's pretty, pretty deep, deep, man. He needs just to look at, to look it and stretch out. He needs to stretch out back to be able to get it. No, he's not getting the ankle. I think he's gonna get out. We'll see. Tara is Sakhra. Is he tapped? Guys, Jiu Jitsu Kid has been in so many Jiu Jitsu oh, fights before. Oh, what heavy ground shots to the head! What heavy ground shots from Tara is Sakhra! He's not letting go of that leg, man. But it's not utilizing it right. He's getting hit. Another hammer fist to the face. Guys, Tarek needs to stand he, up he and is pressure He's fully Mahmoud. committed. I understand that, but he needs to think it right. And now he's got the heel hook, guys. This is deep. This is deep, guys. Tarek is going for the ground and pound. That ground and pound is very effective from Tarek because I don't think he can escape this submission anyway else. Coach is that Haider is on his feet. He is very pumped and giving advice to his fighter. But it doesn't look good for Jiu Jitsu Kid right now. Still have his feet. And Abdurrahman get with the instructions you know, on the ground. Mahmoud can uh, like counter it back with another heel hook easily. But I don't think he has that such a skills. We shall I'm see. I'm telling you, Ahmed Mahmoud has the skills for it, but yeah, he's Tarek's from SB. He's young uh, uh, at the great Ahmed Brin Prince Faris, one of the best fighters mm. in Egypt so far. So he probably has some skills on the floor. We shall see. We're stuck in an orth unorthodox position. Both fighter here. exchanging some ground and pound. Tarek is mostly on top position. Can you Mahmoud judge that one? Can you judge that one? Get up. Very close to Guys, Tarek, Tarek's knee is, a ve is in a oh, very bad position. Wow, lovely Ooh, elbow. that elbow wow, from above. Tarek, Tarek Sakhra is throwing heavy shots to the head. Mahmoud with the ground and pound. And now Mahmoud's got top position after bailing out on his heel hook. I guys, how both guys of them Mahmoud, are... Mahmoud needs to pass Tarek's leg. Tarek's guys, leg is in the way of Mahmoud. For the ligaments for Tarek's the legs. got a knee shield in Mahmoud's way. He needs to pass that knee shield in he, order to have more control over Tarek. Even if that knee got injured, he might not feel it because the adrenaline makes me makes you not feel anything during the fight. I don't understand after. what is he benefit from this position. You know what I mean? He's just looking his leg, but he didn't get, didn't get the heel hook right. So he's wasting his Ooh. energy and taking, absorbing a very heavy shot to the head. We could hear the shots here at the commentary booth alongside the octagon. Very intense first round. Both fighters on the ground, very grueling. Ooh, he's getting that the touch. other leg oh, and that door, toe. Door lock. Oh, guys, this he's is, getting this it. is he's bad. Getting it. He's going to tap. He's going to tap. I don't, I don't think he's going to tap. I think if he committed to that toe, he's going to get it. He can go toe, and get toe, his back now. Touch. Guys, I think Mahmoud's transferring to the back. He has this calf very slicer. Slick, oh, very slick ground work from Mahmoud. Oh, he took look his knee. It's on the back. Is he going to finish the fight? He's getting the back. Guys, this is a guys, very slick ground game from Mahmoud on display right here. Did you see how he moved? He's tapping. Oh, he tapped out. Oh, my goodness. This is just to get the first round submission. Oh, my goodness. This is just to get just go showcase his skills on the floor. And Jitsu gets showing sportsmanship to Tarek Ammar. Ammar tried so hard, but he's just kid. I cannot believe minutes to be able to nice. scramble and he finished it. Toe and heel hook. Then he attempted the choke and he yes, got the man, choke and very and easily. And he, and he secured the back in a very weird way. What do you guys think about this calf slicing he, position to a rear neck choke? Yeah, that was very unorthodox. And it's very smart. And we can see here his, his knee was at a vulnerable position. And 
I don't know how he thought of that. Yes. It's very intelligent, to be honest. Very, very intelligent jiu-jitsu on display, man, by Mahmoud Ahmed, jiu-jitsu kid. That's, that's, how, that's how you call it IQ, fight IQ. When you yes, do have man. that fight IQ, you'll be able in the moment itself adapt, to be adapt. able to adapt and adjust your game. Even if you have game plan, but you saw another opportunity, you have to go for it. That's what we call IQ, fight IQ. And not many have it, not many can understand it. But the greatest one can feel it and understand it and practice it and show it. Like, he, like right now in Kodia, the cage by Kodia. Now I think I know why he's got that nickname. Man. First of all, respect for both warriors and the winner in Siemens. 51 cents of the very first round by Nate Shok is Mahmoud Jiu-Jitsu Kid Ahmed!